Hello everyone and welcome to the video, and today we're going to be talking about how to play Echo. Echo is an amazing hero in Overwatch, and I feel like she's one of the harder heroes to play, and that's why a lot of people don't play her. So the first thing I want to talk about with Echo is just one setting. There is a setting where you have to hold your shift key to fly, and if you just press it real quick and let it go, you will be able to get a nice little speed boost. However, I don't like having to hold down my shift, but this is beneficial if you guys want that quick speed boost. It is decently valuable in a lot of different situations. However, for me, I'll just press shift twice just because I like not having to hold it down the entire time. And that brings me to the next thing I want to talk about, and that is just Echo's Flight. So Echo's Flight is not at all like Farah's. You are able to move around in the air a lot. So having tons of mobility while in the air is great. So you want to make sure that you are utilizing this as well as utilizing natural cover. Even if you're in the air, if you're just flying around like a gnat above everyone's head, they're just going to shoot you down, especially if you don't have a mercy pocket. So playing around walls, flying around corners and stuff like that, you know, being annoying, but kind of out of sight lines or being able to dip out of sight lines and then go back in quickly is very important. This is obviously the baseline for pretty much every hero you're going to play. Being able to play around cover is very important and just because you're in the air and harder to hit, that does not change anything. If you go up against one good hit scan, you are going to get shot out of the air so quickly if you don't have a mercy pocket. So make sure you guys are flying around natural cover and trying to be as hard to hit as possible. And also if you guys are not familiar, if you hold your space key or your jump, you'll be able to glide to the ground slower. It is great for still being in the air and letting your shift recharge. So now I want to talk about positioning for Echo because this is one of the harder things to do as Echo because she's unlike pretty much any other hero in the game. And while this is pretty much situational for the most part, I like to dive the enemy healers. I like to dive their backline. I feel as though it gets me a lot of value and it is relatively safe. So typically I'll just kind of flank. I will use you know, tall buildings, you can fly on top of buildings and just kind of glide off of them. And by the time you even hit the ground, you will have your flight back up and you'll be behind the enemy. So using buildings and stuff to get behind enemies is very, very important. You can get into the back line very easily. So flanking on Echo is very useful. And then once you're in their back line, like I said, you'll have your flight back up. So if you need to get out, you can get right back to your team very quickly. And the next thing I want to talk about is the kill combo for Echo. So Echo is... And the next thing I want to talk about is the kill combo for Echo. So essentially what I mean by this is the abilities you're going to be using, what order you're going to be using them, and how this is going to be getting you kills. So we'll say you just did a nice little rollout, you're behind their team now, you're in their back line, and you shoot all of the sticky grenades at, I don't know, we'll say an Ana and you get her down to half HP, that's when you pull out the beam. The beam does a lot more damage once the enemy is half HP or less. So you're going to want to be using the sticky grenades first and then the beam, and then if they're still alive, then obviously just use your left click. The left click is mostly for poking down enemies and it's great to use before you engage, shoot a little bit and then use your sticky grenades and then pull out the beam. The beam is pretty much always going to be the finisher. And like I said, if the beam doesn't finish him off, then you could, you know, try to left click a little bit. But for the most part, if you don't kill him with the full combo, it's probably time to get out unless they are one HP. And lastly, I just want to talk a little bit about Echo's ultimate. Her ultimate is probably one of the more straightforward ultimates in the entire game. Um, you just copy a hero. So you essentially turn into that hero. If you turn into a tank, you'll have a little bit less health. But your ult charge comes back incredibly quickly, so it's important to copy the right person. Typically, like, people with really, really good ults are always a good copy. Like, Reaper's a great copy, but for the most part, you do want to go for tanks. Reinhardt is an amazing copy, as well as Zarya, even Arissa. Mostly, you're going to want to be copying the tank, because they usually have really, really valuable ults, and they have tons of health, so you won't just get shot down immediately. But like I said, there are definitely a few DPS who have very valuable ults, like I said, like Reaper. Overall, Echo is an amazing hero, and you can get so much value and so many free picks if you know how to play her. However, she is very dangerous to play because especially if you're a lower rank, you're definitely not going to be getting the healing you need. And even the higher up ranks you go, even though you'll be getting the healing, they will immediately switch to hit scans and be able to fry you very quickly. So understanding how to play Echo is very important. So I hope this guide helps you guys out and um, I hope you guys can fry on Echo. So that's pretty much it for today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.